I've got an idea for another engine. This is going to be a mini radial engine. It's going to be made for a change of pace. I'm going to make it out of this poly bicarbonate. Haven't really worked with it before, so that'll be an interesting challenge. It'll be uh, the main body of the engine. And this will be a radial engine, but the main body will uh, be made out of three layers of it. The middle layer will have most of the air paths, eliminating the need for tubes. Much in the same way I use the, uh, the structure to channel the air in my rotary engine here. This will be a radial one, not a rotary, but uh, so I'm going to put, attach this on, cut it out in the usual fashion, drill the holes and stuff, and uh, stack glue them, and then cut out the final shape. We'll see how that works. Stack those. Got the pieces cut out. I'll drill out my holes. Then I'll cut out the interior here. And they'll be stack glued. I'm going to use holes, these holes, to line everything up and then drill the center. I'm going to work on cutting out the interior layer that will have the air channels for the uh, air delivery to the pistons. Um, I'll cut out the sections that are not connected first and then I will cut out half of the one that goes all the way around, tape it and then cut out the other half. Otherwise it's going to lose its position and I don't want that. Using a number two blade, we'll see how that works. Actually went a little further than I planned, but I'll put a piece of tape across here now so I can keep everything aligned. Right. Don't want anything to move. So when I glue it all together, it needs to be in the right spot. there. The tape was kind of catching on the table as I cut, so that kind of adds the difficulty a bit. Could trim that off better. Put uh, the other tape on. Alright, um, I used some acetone and kind of uh, very clumsily welded these two pieces together with it. Kind of dunked one side in and one side, and then I kind of put the, the acetone in the channels and stuff. It's not perfect. I think what I'll do is I'll probably be able to get some of the wick in from the sides once I cut it out better. But uh, now I'm going to line this plate up and repeat the process. See if I can get all three layers lined up and uh, sealed together. All right. I kind of took a eyedropper and squirted the acetone over the, over the surface on the other side, along the edges and in the holes actually. And I think that has ow, worked fairly well, best I can tell. 
So now I've finished cutting out my form and I'll peel things off and I'll actually see how it turned out. Here I have the final form cut out. I'm going to leave the protective covering on both sides as long as I can so it has less scratches. This tubing will in the end be in the middle here for the axle. Obviously it will be cut off much shorter than that but uh, I can also wait on that piece. Thanks for watching part one. This should be an interesting engine when it's done.